So guys, today I'm going to be trying to compose myself to do an everyday carry video or my everyday carry for the month of November. And a handful of things have changed, but for the most part it's pretty similar to October. But I thought I'd update you guys on at least my EDC and show you guys just what I'm carrying for this snowy, cold month of November. For this month, I thought I'd switch it up how I do things a little bit and bring you guys down to the table and just kind of go over all my gear. Now, as always, guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more EDC updates like this. And if you just want to see more EDC content, Alaskan content, and a whole bunch of other videos. Anyways, guys, let's get into this. So you guys can see I have this thing pretty well packed, this table pretty well full. Hopefully you guys can get a pretty good idea of just what all is on the table. You guys should be able to see everything even if it's not completely in the viewpoint. But uh, this is my EDC for the most part. Everything from what's on my neck, or what's on my neck, what's on my neck, belt, uh, and in the pockets. So. Starting off with the belt itself, since this did change, as you guys know, I've been carrying a click belt for quite some time, but I actually switched over to a uh, Hanks belt because I actually got a few more Hanks belts um, after the first one, the Old World Harness. I actually really liked that belt, and so got another couple belts, and one of them is not in the state, but uh, the other one is here with me, and this is the Highland by Hanks Belt, and uh, I really love this belt. It's a very pretty looking belt, so you guys can see it's a thinner belt overall, but it does still have enough weight to it, or that enough weight in the thickness of the leather to still rock something like a G19, but uh, I really like the belt. It's been really, yeah, the belt's been quite well served. So that is the belt. Obviously some of the things that go on that belt are first the gun that I carry every day and that is a Glock 19. This one is of course Magpul FDE and so flat dark girth. That's what the handgun itself looks like and of course it's being rocked in a holster and this is a BCA. Uh, this is a Bravo Concealment BCA outside the waistband holster and I really like this holster for this gun. It works well. The retention is amazing and overall it serves the gun quite well. Then the next thing on the belt is a Leatherman Surge obviously in its traditional leather Leatherman case. So, so next thing is uh, what's on my neck and what's on my neck is pretty basic just the Exotac Nano Striker XL and what's new as well also new and that is the um, neck knife that I'm carrying this one's a little bit different as I'm sure you guys can see but it's actually an Ontario Rat 3 but this one is a little bit of a custom Rat 3 because it is uh, by the knife connection and this and this knife is by the Knife Connection. It's a customized RAT3, so you can see it has a different type of handle on it. It's custom G10 handle, and then it has a Kydex uh, sheath on it, so it's not a standard RAT3, but it is a customized one, and really digging this knife. I mean, once again, I loved the SC3, so no big surprise that the RAT3 is also highly loved. <laughs> over to what's on my wrists usually I have an SNK a Seiko SNK 803 and then I'll usually be carrying some type of paracord bracelet so that's generally what's on my wrists not a whole lot I don't like to bog them down and then of course for rings still rocking the standard just or the same old um, C6 or carbon 6 uh, ring which is a carbon fiber out, out exterior and then it has a silver inlay so awesome ring there and now on to what I'm carrying in my pockets because of course that's as always the most extensive of this list so the first thing this is pretty much everything that rocks my pockets aside from this ring and this <laughs> so of course for the phone still running a uh, Samsung S7 Edge for phones and it's in a red otter box commuter then for other things i'm carrying to complement the glock of course a fully loaded glock 19 15 round 9 mil magazine then a mech army spx 10 flashlight this thing is so awesome i've been playing around with it quite a bit when it gets dark this thing is stupid bright then uh 
This is just Burt's Bees chocolate, dark chocolate and blueberry lip balm. And then the good old uh, classic SD. I love this thing, carry it a lot. Then a Zippo, of course the Trayvac Summit with armor plate. So that's the Trayvac Summit there. And then it has the armor plate here. <sighs> then for knives, aside from the neck knife, then I have the Benchmade. Uh, 90 or 940 I just can't get it right today 940-2 here and then I have the Benchmade AFK Auto here so that's the two knives that are in the pockets then lastly writing instruments is just a Fisher Space Pen Cap-O-Matic I do not currently have a Sharpie but I usually run a Sharpie with this setup too guys hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at my november carry it's pretty much the same as my october carry but it's a little bit different with a few add-ons like the change of the neck knife and the belt but not too much anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always god bless and i'm out